Welcome to the first episode of In Case You Missed It, a new monthly video series where we'll talk about both announcements and cool stuff that may have flown under the radar for OutSystems developers everywhere. Let's jump right in. First, we want to highlight the awesome work being done by our partner community in the Build for the Future Hackathon. This global hackathon features 15 teams made up of OutSystems partners competing to build the best solution for a number of nonprofits, using technology to enhance the nonprofit's ability to meet the needs of those they serve. The nonprofits involved are Strength United, Center for Community Technologies, and Zero Hunger. Learn more about the partners and nonprofits and the goals of the hackathon at the link in the description below. If you've created a mobile app without systems, you're probably aware of the Mobile App Build Service, or MABS, as a convenient way to create App Store-ready packages for your apps without the hassle of setting up specific Android or iOS build environments. With the announcement of general availability of MABS 7.0, you get support for the latest iOS SDK 14, along with iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 mini, default support for Android X and Android API level 30, and more. Check out the release notes linked below for more information. Those of you who work in more than one environment in Service Studio have probably long wished for a way to manage those environments more effectively. Well, wish no more. The latest Service Studio includes a dialogue that allows you to search for an environment, give each environment a meaningful name, and delete environments that you're no longer using. Get the latest Service Studio at OutSystems.com downloads. Next up are a couple of new courses available in the OutSystems training catalog. Multi-language in OutSystems, which will teach you how to support multiple languages in your apps, and building your first business process, which will help you take advantage of the built-in business process technology in the OutSystems platform. See the links in the description for the course listings and details. We're always looking for ways to make it easier to find the components you need for your applications. And one recent improvement is a complete overhaul of the categories in the Forge website. These changes built with feedback from the OutSystems community should help you find what you're looking for in a flash. Haven't checked the Forge in a while? Head over to OutSystems.com Forge and find the component you need for your next app. And take a look at the link in the description for some background on the new category, UI. To wrap things up, I'd like to turn things over to my teammate, Cristiano Umbellino, with a list of Forge components that have recently received trusted status, and what that status means to you as a developer. Cristiano, take it away. Thanks, Andrew. So if you've seen this badge, you probably wonder what it meant. And what it means is that it, the component has gone through a review process by our Out Systems MVPs or our Systems Curation team that follows uh, some guidelines to ensure that the component provides the described functionality that implements the best practices on security, documentation, and code quality. So make sure to always look for that badge. It means that it's a good component for you to use. So now on to the components. So first on the list is the sort record list component. So with this component, and if you've used the built-in functions for list handling on our platform, you know that sometimes you need something more for handling your lists. And this component can help with that. For example, it can provide functions that will help you sort your lists by multiple attributes instead of just one, or to easily uh, delete duplicates on a list. Next, we have Office Utils, and if you've worked with handling Word or Excel documents, you know that this can be a pain. And with this component, it offers a template to accelerate that work of having to export data into these kind of formats. And last but not least, we have the PDF.js Viewer, which can help you implement a preview in-app of a PDF document or in a separate frame, and it offers built-in options such as zooming the document, downloading, or even printing that document. So that's it for this episode of things you might have missed in the OutSystems world. Make sure to stay tuned for future episodes because we'll be here next month. See ya. <laughs>